know, just how do you think your guys have handled that part of the season of, of the pressure of being the, the champ? Well, I think it's been something that I've, I've watched our guys kind of embrace that. And I've watched them kind of, uh, you know, let that motivate them a little bit more because as we were talking about earlier, we're getting, getting everybody's best effort every Friday night. You know, I can remember the last, I remember last year, you know, everybody was chasing nice in the academy and we was able to finally get over that hump after losing to them the two previous years. And I can remember back in 09 when we won the state and everybody was chasing leads at that time and we were finally able to get over that hump, you know. And I think this year being the, the team that everybody kind of had the bullseye on the back of, you know, it puts a little bit of pressure on the kids and it, and it makes each and every week a little bit more tension filled for everybody. But I've been very proud of our kids for the way that they've responded this year to those challenges each week. And you'll play a team that's never played in the championship round. Do you, do you think that gives you guys an advantage or are people like me overblowing that? Well, I, I don't. And the reason I don't is I can remember the first time we went, we played a Cordova team that that was playing in their third straight championship game, that had the experience, that had the SEC running back. And, and you know, and I, and I think we went in as the underdog and nobody gave us much of a chance, you know, because we had never been there. And that was one of those days where the ball just bounced our way and we were able to come out with an overtime victory. And then last year, I think when we got there, everybody kind of looked at us as the favorite a little bit. You know, Bayside was the team that was getting there for the first time. Uh, but, you know, I, I try to use those two examples for our kids so them know it really doesn't matter if you're the first-time team like we were in 09 or, or if you're the veteran team that's been there before like it was last year. You can see those games go either way. And, and at the end of the day, it's not really going to matter uh, about how we've played throughout the regular season. It's not going to matter how Mobile Christian's played throughout the regular season. It's going to be whoever plays the best for that two and a half hours on, on Thursday morning. Um, it you guys, you guys have a quarterback who's been really successful the last couple of years. What, what's Taylor been doing better this year? I think the thing that, that I can I can say about Taylor this year, last year, the supporting cast that was around him, uh, we had a receiver, you know, that signed a scholarship. We had a running back that signed a scholarship. We had a fullback linebacker that signed a scholarship. Those seniors in that class last year, he had playmakers all around him that had big game experience. Most of them were three-year starters on the varsity level. Uh, this year, the thing that I've been most impressed with is all three of his receivers are new. Our, our start and tailback is new. Uh, teams have focused and keyed on Taylor, saying, hey, we're going to try to take away Hayes and see what you can do with these young and experienced guys. And, and he's done a great job of, of bringing those guys along, encouraging them, getting them to play to the best of their ability, and at the same time still putting up just unbelievable numbers himself. So. I think Taylor's leadership this year is probably what stands out more than anything else because from skill guys on the offensive side, he's the only one that had any experience coming into the season, uh, you know, that's really measurable. So I think his leadership and, and having a veteran offensive line, we had all of our offensive linemen back and you had your quarterback back. So a lot of coaches will tell you if you, if you can have your linemen back and your quarterback back, you got a chance. But to watch those young guys around him in the skill positions grow in confidence each and every week and him, him lead them the way that he has has probably been the most impressive thing.